winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Spring, winter. Winter, spring, summer. And it's spring. Winter and summer is spring, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a spring flavor by combining summer and winter together. Nailed it. Today on Don't Panic Pantry, we are making Bambalotti alla scrittore. It is a made up pasta, and this one we're calling alla scrittore because, uh, in the same way that like alla puttanesca is in the style of a prostitute, alla scrittore is in the style of a writer, in that I thought of it way too much, overthought it, and now we're calling it a writer's pasta. We're gonna kind of do the opposite of what you expect with a pasta sauce, which is that you, you cook garlic and tomatoes for a long time, then add fresh herbs at the end. Instead, we're gonna cook down a bunch of shallots and fresh herbs for a way longer than you would think you should, like probably 30, 40 minutes. And then we're going to toss it with raw tomatoes that have been blended. We're gonna use these beautiful cherry tomatoes. The cool thing about cherry tomatoes is when they're raw, they still uh, have all this pectin and thickness. So they will just be sort of tossed with the pasta warm. It's like a warm summer pasta vibe, but also you can make it any time of year because cherry tomatoes are great all the year round. All the year round, as I'd say in regular talking voice. So what I did here is I just took shallots, I cut off one end, kept the little kind of handle on the bottom. Basically, you just want to chop them up pretty fine, but sometimes when I do a lot of these, I just get lazy and do it with a little mandolin with a julienne attachment. So it comes out looking like this. And uh, the trick to this is don't be a hero. When you get down to the nub, just let it go. Will Noah cut his finger on the... It's like shooting this is making me uncomfortable. You want to use a fair amount of oil in here because it's going to really cook down with everything. Enough to like kind of comfortably coat the bottom of a pan. Take our shallots. I'm starting at a medium heat and once it starts to sizzle, I'll lower it down to a low heat. And they'll kind of soak up this oil to start and then they'll slowly release it back out again. Now, you don't have to use basil. You can use any herbs you have. You can use a little bit of basil. I just happen to have a bunch. And since we're cooking this down a decent amount, you don't have to get too precious about how you're picking it even. Especially if you've got some like kind of wonky basil that's gotten a little like, it's not that pristine, beautiful basil that you like this kind of stuff. This is great for this dish. And the idea essentially just comes down to these kind of contrast that I love. This contrast of like raw, fresh, bright tomato and super slow, long cooked stuff. So you get like caramelized onion flavor. You get this kind of earthiness that comes out of these greens and then we cooked for a while. And then it's like good taste and you eat it. It's like, ooh, this is good. But then you get this, this bright, fresh, acidic, sweet pop from the cherry tomatoes, raw and the raw garlic for a little like punch. It's like getting punched in the face in both directions at the exact same time and you stay stabilized in the middle. It's like <laughs> See, it's already kind of cooking down a bunch. Scrape up any brown bits. I'm actually gonna add a little salt now. Start to release the liquids back out. Now, if you were like a fancy boy and you wanted to like chiffonade, you could lay them all in stacks and roll them. But I am just gonna ball it up. This kind of helps sometimes. I didn't do much. Yeah, just cut it. And you don't have to worry that much about bruising your basil. It's gonna get dark and muddy looking like slow cooked greens. A little pinch of crushed red pepper going in. And when needed, maybe a little splash of olive oil. I'm just gonna cover this, drop it down to low. Check it like every 10 minutes. After about 30 minutes or so, we'll make our pasta. We'll blend our tomatoes. That's it. So it's been about 20 minutes. I've kind of turned the heat up a little bit now and I'm just kind of scraping it, letting it go. But see how much it's all kind of cooked down already and you're getting this nice color on it. If you taste it, it'll taste kind of sweet and like jammy and herby. Tasty. Any cherry tomatoes will do. I used a couple different varietals. We're just going to take these just like this, two pints, blended however you may be able to blend things. Force them down. Two garlic cloves. Watch the magic happen, folks. Okay. 
Kind of gives it this like pink aerated color too. And as always, we are seasoning our pasta water, salted like a well-seasoned broth. This is now looking real nice. Like anything else, you want it spicier, add more chili flakes. You want no heat, don't add any. Pasta's cooked. It is Albert Dente. And now it's okay if some of the water is still clinging to this because it's gonna help combine with the shallot basil mixture. So now we're also gonna take a little ladle of our pasta water here, as we do, and help this kind of combine with this. And even this by itself with some cheese is gonna be a tasty pasta, but it is not done yet, folks. Now the heat is off, the H is O, which is confusing because the H is O could also mean the heat is on, but the heat is off. And then two pints in, and this also would be great as like a room temperature kind of summer outdoor pasta. It's obviously gonna want more salt because I didn't salt the tomatoes yet. A little black pepper will be nice here too. And see, it's not like a watery sauce. When you go like this in the pan, look at that. It doesn't like fill in too fast. Mm. It's like now it went from this dark, sweet, caramelized, herby flavor to now this like bright, warm, summer vibes meet winter vibes, which I guess is what, fall? We do a little Parmesan on top, a little fresh olive oil. Let's check out our pasta alla scrittore. <laughs> Tasty, right? My impression of you. It's bright. You always do that. It's bright, bright vegetable. I made a version of this when you had COVID. Two and forks? I kind of improved it. Yeah. Two forks for every girl? You poked me while I was getting a No, bite. I didn't. No. Yeah. When? With what? The fork. In the chest. <laughs> So you get this really, really slow cooked down basil and shallots, and then raw garlic and raw tomato blended in at the very end. Is that what that is? And you get all the health benefits of no one coming near you to give you COVID because you're breath. That's it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I've never had a dish like this. What is this? This is Bombalotti alla scrittore. It was a made up name that uh, Ray and I came up with. It's really good. It's, it's really bright and unique. Well. This is a real fun hit. You make this for your date? Boys, I'm talking to you. You make this for a girl? Because girls, you can make a hot dog for a dude. You'll be like, oh, amazing. And also, if you're making it for a date, you can get the onions, oh the, my God. get the shallots all cooked down. All you gotta do is just boil pasta, boom, pour in the, the, the puree, and you're done. 10 out of 10. Mm. Too much garlic. 